Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Toby, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a birthday makeup haul. So, last week, last Thursday actually, I turned 20, which is crazy. I'm not a teenager anymore. It feels really odd, actually. I didn't think it would, but it does, because I'm not a teenager, so it's kind of weird. But besides that, I actually got a lot of good presents and I was so happy. Um, I got a lot of makeup actually, so I thought I would just dedicate this haul to makeup related things. I may do a full what I got for my birthday thing. Um, I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comments down below or maybe I'll even do that on my blog. But yeah, as I said, I did get a lot of makeup for my birthday. So I thought I would show you guys what I got because I've kind of done the birthday hauls and Christmas hauls and stuff like that. And you guys seem to really enjoy that. So I am in, by no means bragging. I just thought I would share this because I enjoy watching these videos. So hopefully you guys do as well. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So I thought I'd start off with like the smaller things that I got. So the first thing I got is the Body Shop Shade Adjusting Drops, the darker ones, because I'm fake tanning at the moment. I'm finally back with it because I'm sick of being pale. Not that there's anything wrong with being pale. I just feel like it's getting warmer here. So I thought I would tan it up a little bit. So I decided to get these ones so I wouldn't have to keep buying um, darker foundation. But I have no idea how to use it. I've tried to use it once and I'm just not too sure. So I'll have to watch a tutorial on how to use them. The next thing I got is the LA Girl Pro, Pro Powder, the High Definition Setting Powder. And this is kind of a bad haul because I have used a lot of these things. So I have used this and it feels absolutely incredible on the skin, but it does have a pretty bad flashback. But it feels literally like soothing when it gets put on your face, I guess. But it's so amazing. I love it. So I'm really enjoying that and it was really affordable as well. Moving on to the palettes I got. So the first one I got is the, ooh, I haven't even taken the packaging off this because like it's got a little peely thing and I don't want to take it off yet. So I got the Narcissist palette and it looks like this. I still have the thing on it. So this is what it looks like here. They look super pigmented. I know the black is super pigmented. I've never ever done like a blue look before, so that should be really interesting. And I love all like the highlight shades in this, so I'm very excited to try this out. Also, I think the name of the palette is hilarious. The next palette I got are these ones from Morphe, which are so, so tiny. They're so cute. They'd be perfect for traveling. So the first one I got is this 12NB. I think it's called like the Natural Beauty palette. And this is what it looks like here. And I just think it's really, really pretty and it has some really nice colors. It's just kind of like neutral colors and a couple, a couple of shimmers and some mattes mixed in there as well. So this would be really good for like traveling because you could just take this little itty bitty paddle, itty bitty palette and you'd be good to go. It kind of just has all your basic colors. So I really like it. Then the other Morphe, the Morphe, I don't really know how to say it, palette I got is the um, I'm not too sure. It's like the 06 PC palette. I know it's called the Pro Cool palette, I think. It's a contour palette though, and I think it looks awesome. Like, it's for cooler toned skin. I kind of wish I got the warm toned skin because I forgot I was going to fake tan, so I really didn't prepare for that. So, it just has like this super white one, and I love having like stark white shades. And it has this really nice contour shades down here, so I really like this, and I have tried it out. It's very pigmented and the next thing I got is, I've already put these into the palettes, I wish I saved the little things for you guys, but I was too excited. So I got a Z palette, I haven't had one of these before, it's my first one, so I got the Z palette and then I've got my shades in here. So the first shade I got is this one here, and that is Desert Sands, this one is Latte. Then I got Frappe, I kind of got like very neutral browns I guess I don't know I really like neutral shades and I love matte shades so I really enjoy picking out these colors the next one is cocoa bear or cocoa bear cocoa bear and I adore this shade it's so cool I love it and these are so pigmented I absolutely adore these I'm definitely already planning my next lot then I got mocha oh you can't see that color I got mocha and I like that because it's like a deep brown I got Bitten, which is, oh, which seems to be everyone's favorite. Oh, I'm just touching them and all this stuff's coming off. So I got pretty much the basic ones because I didn't know if I would like the consistency or anything like that. So I just wanted to try some of them out before I bought a bit more of them. So I just got 
all these ones here from Beauty Bay and those ones as well. These ones are eyeshadows up here and these are the contour shades. So these are the contour pans. This one is in, this is a lighter one, which is in Cool Porcelain or Breakup Cool Porcelain. I don't know what it's called. It's got like two names. That is it there. It is very, very cool toned. And I was going to use that just like as a bronze shade, not as contour because it's not quite as deep. And then this kind of matches my top. This one is called Complicated in Cool Medium and I use this as the contour. And even when I'm tanned, this still works because they are so pigmented. And yeah, and then I just have them in a little magnetic um, palette, I guess. So I'm definitely going to be filling these up with a couple other ones. I want to try out some Anastasia ones, but I don't want to put them in the same palette. So I'm going to buy a few more like blushes and contour ones here. I want some darker ones. And then I'm going to fill the rest of this with eyeshadows. So if you have any recommendations on which ones I should get, leave them in the comments down below because I'm going to be doing an order pretty soon. So I'm pretty excited about that. Last but not least, I got this huge box of goodies and it is all from Colourpop. Oh god, I'll show you. It's all these ones here. So I'm so excited about these. It came with all these little papers and obviously when you get a Colourpop order, you get these little notes, so that's really cute. But this is my first Colourpop, Colourpop order ever, pretty much since birthday. I had a lot of things I've never tried before, which is really exciting, and I don't really do a lot of buying my makeup online. Like, do, I don't do it. I don't know why, but I'm addicted to it now. So I have all like the boxes and stuff in here, so I will just show you the actual product, not the boxes. So the first thing I got is some brow products. and some brow products and these are in the shade blonde both of them i got a pomade which just looks like this and it's really cute and i got a brow pencil which has a spoolie on the end and like a mechanical tip these are both in the shade blonde as i said and these are, these are actually true to blonde like you can get some oh my god you can get some blonde products that say they're blonde and they are just like dark brown and they look ridiculous so I'm really wary about blonde eyebrow products because sometimes they just are not anywhere near like a blonde shade. Like I have very, very, very fair eyebrows. So, oh my god, why am I yelling? I have really fair eyebrows, so when I fill in anything that's slightly darker, it looks jet black. So it just doesn't work. So I'm really happy with these because these are really, really light and still really pigmented. So they do the job. I've really enjoyed it so far and I especially love it because it is actually like true to blonde. The next thing is some sculpting sticks and I got two of them and these are like contour sticks. These are like contour sticks. So I got the shade Gummy Bear, which is a highlight shade. So under your eyes and stuff like that. And it is the lightest shade. Then I got the shade Dove for contour. I'm not too sure if this is the lightest contour shade or not. But I actually think it's quite deep and I really like it. So that's in the shade Dove. And it's really, really good for contouring your nose. I love it. Not muddy at all. Doesn't rub off patchy or anything like that. So I'm really enjoying these so far. I'm going to definitely order some darker ones along with the Makeup Geek um, contour pants. I'm going to be ordering some darker ones of these. The next thing I got is some lip liners or lip pencils. So I got four of these and I'm obsessed with these. I really wanted to try out their lip pencils because I have the Kylie Jenner lip kit and I'm obsessed with that lip pencil. It's so creamy and lovely and these are literally the same. So much cheaper though. And I got the shades, I got Bound, which is like a deep, almost like mauve pink, if that's even a thing. I got the shade, Rider, which is a darker one. This one here, Bound, is really, really similar to the Kylie Jenner one in Candy K because I have that one and it literally looks exactly the same. Then I have the shade Tootsie, <laughs> and that's kind of like a more brown nude, I guess, like a deep nude. And then I have this light, light, light nude in the shade Skimpy, and I really, really love this. I'm pretty sure this is the one that's on my lips today, I think. Then I got all these lip products, so I got seven of them, so six of them are ultra matte and then the rest, well, one of them is a gloss, so I'll start off with that one. I got the ultra glossy lip in the shade Bestie and that's what I'm wearing today, it is really cute, so I really like that and it's not sticky, so I really like it, I used to hate lip glosses. This is the first lip gloss I've actually bought like willingly in a long time, 
So I'm really liking this because I feel like it's not going to go on my food when I eat. So it's really cute. I really like the pink as well. This is in the shade Stingray. So that's really cute. Pretty much these all look the same. I don't know if they look the same on camera, but they pretty much they look really similar, but they've all got completely different undertones. So I have the shade Beeper. So I think that's really, really pretty. I love that one. I have the shade, and these are like really nude, and I love nudes, so like neutrals, nudes. I have the shade Bianca. Then I have the shade Chi, which is literally so stunning. It's like a nude, like brown, I guess. I don't know, I just love it. And it is part of the Karushi Colourpop collaboration. So this actually has a rose gold um, top compared to like, it's like copper, but this one's silver and this one's got like a copper top around it. And I didn't know this when I bought it, but it's really cute. Then I got this really like deep brown in the shade Limbo and I'm, I'm excited to try that one because I've never done like a dark brown ever. And then I just got this super cherry red in the shade Creeper and I think this is really, really pretty. It's gonna be good for like a night out. So that is it for my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.